In this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, uh, cuts along a center line in 12D. Cuts, all they are, are st strings that are perpendicular to an alignment, a super alignment, that reflect uh, the designed surface. So first thing you have to do is you have to get all of the design models onto a single model because um, you can only do cuts along strings that are in the one model. So you turn all those strings on you want to include in this in that sort of determine the, the surface of your design. Turn off anything you don't want. So I turn off small water. So we'll go to utilities A to G change and we're going to put all of those models on that view and we're going to copy them over to I'm just going to call that design strings on a single model just to make it obvious what's happening. So hit change. All right now all of the design strings are on a single model. The design strings on a single model model. All right. Now I just turned on my super alignment there on the left hand side. So now to do the cuts. I'm going to go to Utilities, A to G, Cuts, Cuts by Centerline. So for the model to cut through, that's what you want to cut through. So that's the uh, design strings on a single model. Model Section separation is the distance between each cut or perpendicular string to the centerline. Special changes is if you want any areas of interest. Cut width left and cut right cut width and left cut width is how far either side of the alignment it'll search for strings and then the model for cuts is the model that it's going to put the, the cuts on. Right, I'm going to select my super alignment. It's got to be a super alignment for your center line and if you wanted to you can specify a start and end change. So I've created my cuts. I'll just turn on the cuts model. You can see it's all there it's pretty crazy because uh, every time it goes around a corner it's creating multiple strings just to get around the corner so that's pretty crazy now because um because those strings are all going at different angles uh, sort of funny angles they won't necessarily be correct as per the tin what I'm going to do here is just uh, create a profile with one of the cuts. You can see when I zoom in, the cyan line being the cuts, the green line being the tin, there is a bit of separation there. And that's because the um, the cuts follow the strings, but this that doesn't necessarily when it's going around corners like that, that doesn't necessarily represent exactly what the tin's doing. So to um, get around that, we're just going to drape all the cut strings to the tin. So under tin, drape, we'll select the model cuts, select the tin that you want to drape it to, drape mode, leave it as normal. And as you can see, it's now draped all those cut strings on the tin. And so you can set out to those cut strings if that's how you set out or if that's what you want. And that'll be all done. Uh, if you wanted to create cuts that were just a bit tidier, say if it was um, down the center line of a road, we can just create, like if you didn't have a center line of the road, you can just make up your own dummy string that goes parallel to the project. All right, so create a string. I'm just going to do it the tangential traverse line. Just like the random distance doesn't matter. All right, I'll have to now convert that. So, added utilities, A to G, convert, convert to super alignment. I'll just select it and target. I'll just select the place, convert. You can see it's changed color, it's got those symbols. 
that means it's now alignment. So back in the cuts of centerline, cuts from centerline panel, uh, everything's the same. You just pull that out as before, except model for cuts. We'll just get a different name because um, I'm just going to show you two different things. Change your color so it's not confusing. And for the alignment, we'll just select that new one. Cut. Turn that model on. You can see now the strings all run across the site, parallel, perpendicular to the alignment that we just made. Uh, we'll have the same problem here. You can see the strings as as it's just going from one side to the other, it doesn't take into account what's happening in between with the pin. So we will have to just drape that again. You can see that's uh, almost 100 mils height difference. So we'll have to go to tins, drape, and drape. All right, we'll select that model, specify the tin, leaf drape mode set to normal, place and drape. Now you can see it's all matching with the tin perfectly.